Hello everyone, how are you? Today's session I'm going to talk about something that I have seen. It's something that we all know, something that we all come across individually, or things we come across in our life, or the various parts of our life. So what am I trying to talk about? It's something that we all must face at one point of our time, or all the time which is problem. As we all know, the definition of problem is a situation or a condition that we find ourselves to be uncomfortable, to be unwanted, or to not have an immediate solution. Any situation that makes us uncomfortable, that makes us not to be happy, that makes us to be unwell, that makes us not to be feeling okay or in our perfect state of mind we consider it to be a problem. So, what kind of problem do you face nowadays? Anybody from the age of 14 down to the age of 25, 35 we consider him to be youth, maybe, possibly, yeah, but what problems do we normally face from that time of our age? Most people have family problems. It is with your parents, it is with your siblings, it is with your relatives, or even if it is within themselves. Most youth are undergoing a lot of problems, and most of them don't know what to do about it. Because where they find themselves, they don't have any immediate solution to it. So some of them hope, some of them try, some of them get away, some of them take negative action. Other problems could be relationships, relationships within oneself, relationships with another gender, relationships with peers, relationships with individuals in a community, in an environment, any form of relationship that has nothing to do with an immediate bloodline could be a problem to someone, especially if it's negative in nature. Another form of problem could be academic, school, tertiary, secondary, higher education, post-education. A lot of people are having issues with school, getting good grades, discipline themselves to read, being able to ward off negative influences within school or outside school, having to deal with family issues that affect them in school, or possibly even having teachers or lecturers or educators who are having interest in them or taking advantage of them negatively. This could be a problem to them. Another problem people have, especially youth, could be work. A lot of youth are looking for work. Some youth have jobs they don't like. Some youth are actually looking for jobs they can't find. Some of them are having jobs that they are being threatened with or they are being used because of the job. So some people are undergoing some issues that has to do with their way of living or their cost of living or what they do to have a sense of living. Other problems could be financial. Everybody knows this one. Not having money in within you or close to you or somewhere stored to enable you to sustain your life or to be able to progress or to invest or to do other things could be a very big issue. And a lot of youth today, all they talk about is they need money, they are looking for money, they wish to have money. Another problem youth face are health. Some youth are born with health conditions that are not too well. Some people have health issues that were afflicted to them. Some have experienced health issues that could be due to an accident, due to a condition, due to a situation, or it could be something that just came from within or from an external reason. Another problem that youth have are religious. Some youth are saying they are not religious enough. Some youth are struggling with religion because they are trying to have a very strong faith. Some of them are between the lines, 50 50. They do good and they sin. That becomes a mental issue, an emotional issue, a physical issue, a personal issue for them. Others could be emotional or physical problems. 
some youth are claiming to be facing frustration, depression, paranoia, anxiety, suspicion due to what life events, personal problems they couldn't solve, issues surrounding them, issues within them, issues that affect them. Why? Because they don't know who to talk to or how to talk to someone. So, how do we solve these various problems? Some problems could be solved immediately. Some problems need time. Some problems need a little level of attempt by someone or within the person itself in concern. And all one has to do is to take a step back and observe the situation from the beginning to the point in which the idea. Not every problem has a solution immediately. Not every problem could be solved at the time that we wish to solve them. And not every problem can be handled by oneself. Sometimes you need an external help. You need somebody who understands what you're going through. But how do you get the right person? You first need to understand you. You first need to be able to handle the problem by yourself. You first need to understand whether you could do it or not. You first need to understand the gravity of the issue. What caused it? What led to it? What's going to happen if you do nothing? What's going to happen if you do do something? And what's going to be the aftermath of everything being done and said? So, what makes us to be uncomfortable when we say we have a problem? The first stage of it is the mind. When the mind cannot stop thinking about it, when the mind cannot handle it, when the mind is not feeling comfortable with that thought and the feeling of what we are going through, then it becomes a problem. The next thing that gets affected is the heart. When the heart starts to feel anxious, starts to feel nervous, starts to feel threatened, starts to feel fear, starts to feel anger, it means the problem has moved from a state of mind to the state of an emotional sense that the problem is to react it is something that affects people a lot when it comes to problems. So the next thing that gets affected is the brain, your cognitive state of mind, your mental balance. Your mind starts to get agitated, frustrated, depressed. Anguish starts to come in, sorrow and grief starts to come in, depending on the problem. Most people end up being sulking in despair, some people losing hope, some people feeling vengeful, some people feeling manipulative due to what the problems that they face. They are looking for a solution and they cannot get. So how do you solve them in that kind of situation? And the next thing that happens is the body. Every problem eventually takes over the body depending on how you handle it. And the mind and the heart and the cognitive sense of one's individuality has been taken over by the condition that they find themselves and it becomes a detrimental thing or a negative feeling, the body starts to respond. One loses focus. One loses motivation, one loses balance, one loses a sense of being, one starts to fall victim to the society or to the environment or to the home or to the individuality of where they find themselves. And that becomes a problem. Another thing could be the surrounding. When everything is affected, your surroundings have to become affected as well. Certain individuals, because of the problems they have, they get to inflict pain into the people around them. They get to become distorted to the compile into the uh, community or to the lo locations that they find themselves. The high rate of crime is what individuals who couldn't solve their problems. The high rate of violence, individuals who felt they didn't handle their problems well, so they needed other people to feel their pain. Anguish, despair, loneliness, 
these are issues that a lot of youth are going through. Some are being said, some are recorded, some are under-recorded, or even under-reported. Why? Because the society does not give avenues enough, especially coming down to our own location here in Nigeria, where you don't have groups of bodies or individual organizations that are well known. They claim to exist, but not everybody knows. Somebody could be having a problem for 18 years of their life and they don't know who to talk to or even how to talk to because the environment they find themselves are not even easy to talk to someone. Some don't even have the resources, the capital, the money to go to the right people, to go to the right places to talk about their problems. So they rather talk to the peers and most times peer, peer groups might not have the right sense of advice. Some advice could be detrimental. They could use them and push them into cocaine, push them into social life that is negative. Or even tell them to commit something that later on becomes a thing of disadvantage to them and the people around them. So how do we solve the problem? There are two ways to solve the problem. You can either handle it practically or religiously because some problems need practical solutions some problems need one to do nothing so in, in a practical sense 